as leaders, we can forget that our own people are our most important audience. Find out why in today's show. Welcome back to year six of the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, which we release every Monday. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, Dale Carnegie, Tokyo franchise owner, master trainer, president of Dale Carnegie Tokyo Training, and three time best selling author of Japan Sales Mastery, Japan Business Mastery, and Japan Presentations Mastery. Zaegyo is the translation of Japan Sales Mastery. My latest book is Stop Wasting Money on Training, and the Japanese translation is Training de Okani o Mudni Suno wa Yamimasho. We are bringing the show to you from our high performance center in Akasaka, in Minatoku, the business center of Tokyo. Why the cutting edge? We are here to win in business in Japan. Let's all be at the forefront, at the cutting edge. Of how to flourish here in this market. This is episode number 280, Crucial Presentations. So let's get going. Usually when we hear the term presentation, we think of a public arena, a big crowd, and a lot of formality. These public occasions are important because this is your personal and professional brand on show to the world. There are other presentations, though, which are in the family bosom of the company, away from the bright lights and the fanfare. This is when you are addressing the troops, people who see you day in and day out. They know who you really are. In these cases, we may need to recognize people, perhaps hand out awards, celebrate a birthday or work anniversary. This is our crew, but don't take them for granted. We can't be laid back about it and think it is not as important as a public soiree. We still have to prepare properly. This is inside the family, so the temptation to see the stakes as being lower. Actually, these types of speeches are the hardest ones to give, and we need to be at our best. Engagement and motivation are closely driven by how we make our people feel. How much attention we give them and how we treat them are critical elements of our authentic leadership. Typically, though, we don't prepare. We just wing it and so end up with a pretty ordinary facsimile of a proper presentation. Wrong thinking. Well, what should we do? Here is a simple four-part formula for these occasions. Firstly, explain why the award is being made. It may be for dedicated service, high-quality job performance, a major sales achievement, etc. Probably everyone knows already, but we need to remind them and set the scene for the presentation. For example, Mary has won the sales over $500,000 medal, which is pretty boring. Compare it to Mary beat out hundreds of other salespeople to make it into the very exclusive half a million dollar sales club of outstanding salespeople. We need to set the context for the award at the start. Secondly, talk about the team member's role as part of the team. We need to connect them with the group and how they contribute. We might say, Mary is a high performer and she is a fantastic team player. Her willingness to help the team win shows the mark of a true professional. I know many of the people in this room today can attest to her openness and availability to assist whenever needed and share knowledge with others. Thirdly, we talk about the award itself, why it is deserved and how we are all proud of the recognition this has given to our whole team effort in the organization. We say, Mary has been a model of persistence. She's done all the steps of the sales process consistently and professionally. Her achievement today is also driven off the back of the number of referrals she got from clients, which led to new business with other companies. 
We preach this referral idea, and Mary is a model to remind us to make this succeed for all of us as well. Find out more. We come back from the break. If you want to become a fully competent and confident presenter, then do the High Impact Presentations course. We are all being judged when we speak, be it in the internal team meeting or in a public environment, be it the big bosses, clients, or an industry audience. Everyone is evaluating us. Don't blow it. Get the best training on the planet. Do the High Impact Presentations course now in either Japanese or English. Speaking in public means our personal and professional brands are on show. Let's make it a total success. Japan Presentations Mastery is the Bible for presenting in Japan. This is the most comprehensive collection of experience and insight on presenting that you will ever need. Don't work it out by trial and error. Buy Japan Presentations Mastery and learn how to be confident, clear, and persuasive. Buy Japan Presentations Mastery now. Welcome back. Fourthly, we congratulate the recipient on behalf of everyone. Mary, I'm very proud to make the sales award to you today. Congratulations from all of us. We want you to receive this recognition with our best wishes and hopes for even further success in the future. The danger of these presentations is to go too frugal or too exaggerated. We do want to create some buzz around the award, but at the same time, it has to be real. Exaggerating the importance of the award or the winner's achievements uh, makes the whole thing sound like a parody, a fakery. Tell the audience, Mary is a genius personified, a true legend in the business. She will stand in the hall of fame of salespeople in this organization for time immemorial. Obvious overkill. Create serious doubts about the integrity of everyone involved in this award. Japan is a country of institutionalized flattery. So we have to tread carefully here. If you have ever been on the receiving end, then you know how embarrassing these types of effervescent comments can be. The remarks have to be sincere, true, and tempered with reality. If we overpraise one person in the group, the danger is the others will become jealous and shun them. In some cases, it may be better to present this speech to Mary alone without an audience. A nice lunch with the boss and the award presentation one-on-one -on -one may be better than gathering everyone together. Japanese people get nervous when they are singled out for too much recognition. They know the knives will be coming out straight afterwards. In this sense, Japan is a bit tricky and you really have to know the person involved and the group itself to decide which is the best plan. The point is to treat this as a major speech that directly hits the team's motivation and commitment. When you think of it that way, then you give the talk the proper attention it warrants and you can make these occasions a great opportunity to engage the team even more successfully. I hope you enjoyed today's show and so please subscribe to it on YouTube. Share it with your family, friends and colleagues. Become a regular. Hit the little bell icon to receive update notifications. Our website details are on screen now. dale-carnegie.co.jp It's awesome value, so check it out. We try to offer as much value as possible, so you might also enjoy our other shows. In fact, we're releasing content six days a week. By the way, how many companies, let alone training companies in Japan, are doing that, do you suppose? Answer, just one. Dale Carnegie Tokyo Training. Now, for podcasts, Mondays for the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, Tuesday for the Presentation Japan series, and every second Tuesday for the Business Touches in the Oshie Show, Wednesdays for the Sales Japan series, 
Thursdays for the Leadership Japan series and every second Thursday for the Business Supro Podcast Show. Fridays for the Japan Business Mastery Show and Saturdays for Japan's top business interviews, wherever you get your podcast. For TV shows, Mondays for the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. Every second Thursday, we release the Business Pro Telebi Show. Every Friday, the Japan Business Mastery Show. And every Saturday, Japan's top business interviews on YouTube. We appreciate your support, and please let others know about it so they can benefit too. We want to make a contribution to helping people, and please join us in that endeavor. Our training mantra is we are 100% committed to using our soft skills training to transform your career and business. Dale Carnegie Tokyo Training are in your corner here in Nippon. In episode number 281, we are talking about read the vibe when selling. So, Yoroshiku Onegai Tashimas. Please join me for the next episode of the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. We are here to help you. We've only got one direction in mind for you and your business, that is up. <laughs>